Hello everyone, uh, this is Matt Hoiser. I was one of the judges for the Software Testing World Cup and I have here today the winners for the North America round which they're going to be advancing to the world which is going to be in November in Germany. Team Quad Core. Hello Team Quad Core. Hello. So uh, we have uh, 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 Percy's Newton on your right, my left. Uh, uh, welcome to the show, Percy. How long have you been testing software? Uh, I have been testing since the past two years full time and one year of internship at Blackberry itself. Okay, and they're all in. They're all at. They're, so you, your whole team te were testers at Blackberry. So you were co-located for the whole three hours of the competition, right? Yes. And BlackBerry is a maker of the portable digital phonical things in uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario, I think. Right. Right. Uh, thanks. And uh, have you been at BlackBerry the whole time, Persis? Yes, I have. And we also have Shivani Honda. How long have you been, been, been testing our technology? Uh, so the same with me. I have been testing for three years now, including one year as a co-op. And that's all, the whole time as a BlackBerry? Yeah. Okay. Right after school. And for the North America round, I'm trying to remember, did we, were you, were you testing Snagit, texting the Snagit? I can't remember. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. So that's a Windows application. Right. Do you usually test? What kind of devices do you usually test? Do you usually test phones? Uh, yep, we usually test handheld devices. Okay. Uh, and Richard Buffard? Yes. So um, I'm going to guess you're a software tester. It's just okay. Yes, just yeah. like the rest of them. Uh, I've been with BlackBerry probably almost uh, four years. And prior to that, I was working at a place called TV Works, uh, which was uh, in London, Ontario. So uh, about an hour away from where we are now. Okay. And finally, we have um, Shumanip. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, by the way. I don't know if anybody, if you're watching, if you watched, you, you made a little preview trailer video of your, your adventure. It's, it's kind of entertaining. <laughs> so how did you get the idea for that or who had the idea for that we were brainstorming ideas and uh, kind of all of us all of us put in our input and build it up <laughs> yeah and it's kind of like you're chasing down some monster that is that is that is trying to capture one of you or something right is that we're, what's the we're plot trying to capture the bug yeah. capture the bug this sort of a little little tongue in cheek uh, thing that we decided to do with, uh, you know, a, a mystery type story along with capturing a bug. It has it has a feel of, of one of those high tech hacker, right, where one team is doing this and you're drawing some stuff on the board and then you're making the plan. And yeah, that, that, that was the idea. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for doing that. How did you all hear about the World Cup? So we heard about it through a co-worker of ours who attended the KWSQA conference and she just spread the word in our team and that's how we knew. Yeah, we kind of uh, saw it. Um, we're not actually part of the same team here, so it just kind of was a discussion that we had, you know, we, we need to put some people together um, to, to compete in this because we all had our, our own interests and uh, it, it just came together. So BlackBerry probably has, I think you had two, two, there were two teams from BlackBerry, if not three, competing in the World Cup, right? Yes, there were four, there were four, of, uh, four teams. But I imagine you have a lot more than 16 testers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was it hard? Did you have to argue with your boss for three hours? Because it's during the middle of the week, uh, weekday, right? It's during the work day. Did you have to... Friday night after work, so it worked out perfectly for us. Oh right, it was this one was this round was started at 6 p.m. Eastern or something like that. You're probably on Eastern time, yeah. so it's after work hours. Right, 
nonetheless, our, our colleagues are very supportive of the whole idea. Do you think next year it should be during the work day or after? I think after worked out perfectly for mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're done with your day and, and you can just kind of focus on just the competition at that point. I think it's it's fine yeah. on an evening. It's kind of terrible that it was Friday because usually you're yeah. thinking about the weekend. <laughs> but at the yeah. And, and there, there are some, some, uh, there are some, um, there are a lot of people in Israel who have religious obligations on Friday night, so um, we probably would do a different night um, next year. So it's all learning, right? <laughs> did you do anything to prepare for the competition? Yeah, we did actually. We had a whole bunch of uh, sessions, like a, like prep sessions prior to the competition, where we just. Uh, paid attention to all the rules that were given to us and divided the responsibilities and had a template ready for the reports. Great. So you came up with a template that you could just fill it in. Yeah. Do you think yeah. your test strategy changed with a competition that was three hours long versus your typical, I don't know, how two-week two week, um, uh, hardening time period or, or continuous testing where you're the whole project you're testing every day. Well, that's the thing with with the three hours. It almost felt too short. You you get to the end of it and you're, I barely touched this app. You know, mm -hmm. I I really had felt I had to rush through it, and you're constantly aware of the time to make sure that you have that uh, time at the end to uh, do the reports as well. So if, if you're not prepared ahead of time, if you don't have a template, it's going to be tough to to uh, get everything done in, in that three hour time frame. Okay. Yeah, oh, I totally agree. We inject, I don't want to say stress, but it simulates real software project conditions where you've got not enough time, too many test ideas, conditions of uncertainty, conditions of ambiguity. You know, you might have some access to the customer, maybe, but it's never quite what you want, right? So I'm kind of proud of what we put together. But there's, a, there's always room for improvement. So. I think more than three hours, it would eventually become work. Right? At some point it would be just like, I'm doing this work for free. What? What? Sure. Um, are you doing anything in particular to prepare for the worlds? What do you expect from the worlds? Are you any, any concerns? We do expect a uh, higher competition. Like, the people we compete with would be of a higher uh, level that we need to, uh, to prove ourselves. So yeah, we are we are having sessions regularly to get our things together, get um, get uh, all the data we need, have an idea of what we'll do over there. Even uh, even things we want to improve upon as well. Um, at the end of the we got some feedback because uh, we got to see the. I, I think everyone gets to see their marking scheme, and I mean feedback is is one of the most valuable things you can get, and we have to build off that. So. Another thing is that it's going to be a live competition for us this time, right? So yes. So it's going to be adding a lot of stress on us as well. So we have to make sure to calm ourselves down, relax, have fun, and then yeah, just try to enjoy the competition. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm um, trying to make sure the video is streaming correctly. In worst case is we're going to have to re-record this. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope I hope we have fun. We should have some snacks. We should have some drinks. Um, should be. Well, that may be an area of concern too, because in our local competition we had a room to ourselves, and so we could discuss our ideas loudly, no down points, but with other people around. There may be a little too much of distraction, so we have to kind of manage that as well into our, our, uh, our testing strategy. I think managing volume and focus is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, hopefully everybody will have one table per team and we'll have a lot of tables in a big room. But, um, and then access to the customer is going to be uh, it's going to be challenge. So. Looks like this is on YouTube, so I was hoping we find it. Yeah, it looks like it is on YouTube. That's cool. So, um, 
the the have you got have you got your plane tickets yet to Germany? Yep, yeah. we're all booked. <laughs> where, where do you can I ask what you're flying? Is it, is it Delta, United, KLM? Air France. Air France. Yeah. Heard a lot of good things about Icelandic Air, but I'm a, a Delta person. So apparently Icelandic Air, they put you through Iceland, Reykjavik, and you can have an unlimited stopover. So you can you know, do your vacation in Iceland. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> now I find out about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next year, Agile Testing Days is in Germany every year. So all you, all you have to do is, well... Yeah, um, um, find a way to come back next year. There's always a way to come back next year. Winning would probably help. Yeah, but this Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah, are you looking forward to seeing the sights in Boston? When do you, do you know when you get in to Germany? You get in Friday, Friday? Uh, Saturday, Saturday, yeah. Okay. So um, Potsdam has... There's a couple of just beautiful historical st structures that have been there for 500 years. Uh, so you want to take a tour Sunday or something, rest all Saturday. I don't know what time you get in. But that's good. And then Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon, we're going to be having the uh, Antarctica round uh, to qualify to represent Antarctica in the world. So anybody that shows up to Germany on Sunday can, of course, uh, compete at that round. And you can, of course, show up and watch and observe and, and not be stressed and then have stress on Monday. So... That's, that's, that's really awesome. Uh, any particular insights that you had from the actual competition itself in the moment? Um, I mean, we don't want to get too much into it because, I mean, the, some of the insights that we did get would probably be the most valuable things that we do have um, that we'll want to use for the competition. But, um, I mean, a, a lot of it, it was, it was a wonderful learning experience, and being able to go through it, it is going to be great and a great preparation for what we're expecting in the finals. Um, but to, I don't know, you guys don't want to really get too much into the details of, of the wonderful insights that we Well, can't have. you tell me, can't you tell me one thing? Tell me one thing. Come on. Can't we... like good questions to ask customers and we learned uh, what are some good and valuable bugs versus what are some just completely non-valuable bugs. Mm -hmm. so we to distinguish between that. Yeah, I agree. So, um, I might use. I'm not competing, so I can say this: that that circled around is figure out what the customer considers a bug and what is important feedback, and then you go test. And of course, you're still circling as you test, but getting that, getting an accurate picture of what's in the customer's head quickly, will be very, very valuable for the, the burn down. So, fantastic. What question should I be asking that I'm forgetting? Uh, Shuman, if you've been quiet, with a thought. Um, one thing is what they really care about an application or the website or whatever you're testing. Like what's the number one thing that they care about? The customer. The customer, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you do if you have an obnoxious customer that simulates a real customer that says, you know, it should it should work, right? I would, I would give them suggestions, like, do you want oh. this one or that one? Like, give them some choices. I want all of it. What are you talking about? It should work. You're the testers. It's your job. I know, but it's also, we need also to gather information from customers. So we're giving them, do you want A or B more? Yeah, so, right. Yeah. So that they can have sort of like a platform to compare. Sure. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, thanks, guys. And uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. Uh, in Germany, and I uh, think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. We look forward to it. We're really excited. <laughs>